Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today we're going to hook this lovely USB hub up to our Nexus 7 and plug in a wide assortment of USB devices into it at the same time. What does that mean? Well, for what we're going to do, um, we're going to plug in a mouse and a keyboard and show that the hub works with the Nexus 7, which is really cool and provides some flexibility to not limit you to just one USB device to hook in. Now, there has been a lot of comments. Hey, the Nexus 7 does not support OTG. You're lying. It's, there is some truth to that. The Nexus 7 does not have full OTG support. However, it has limited OTG support. So keep that in mind. And honestly, the limited OTG is not that bad. We can plug in mouses, keyboards, controllers, our cameras. Honestly, uh... That's pretty good if you ask me, as far as limited when it comes to OTG. And there's people already using software to unlock future features like plugging in a USB stick for additional storage. So, limited OTG, yep, it's limited, but we are doing a lot with it. So, what, we, what I have here is just a standard USB hub. And what I'm going to do, of course, is take an OTG cable and I'm also going to take a USB mini not the micro like you would plug into the Nexus 7 and I'm plugging a mini into the mini port of this hub it's just the wire I have you know depending on your hub you're going to plug it in a different way alright so now we have that now I have my lovely mouse. Let me get it untangled. Should have done that before the video, huh? There we go. We have my lovely mouse. And I'm gonna zoom out to give some more room. Okay. And so, without making too much of a wire mess, I'm gonna plug my lovely mouse in. Okay. And then, I have my keyboard. And also wired before I showed you a Bluetooth one, but now let's show you my wired keyboard. And again, plug it in. So I'm doing all the plugging in now. For some reason, when you plug in the hub, just the hub, connect it to your Nexus 7, and then click connect the other peripherals, it doesn't uh, recognize the other peripherals. So if you do it all at the same time, connect what you want to the hub, then plug it in, it's going to work just fine. So let's now do the connecting. And you'll see those two lights on the hub just meant that the others parts registered. Now let's do some rearranging so we can see everything. All right. So I'll just show it out here just so you can see it's working then I'll focus back in on the Nexus 7. But as you can see, hopefully you can see the mouse is working. I can click and drag the screens. I can open my app tray and I have the sensitivity of my mouse down significantly and um, you can look at your peripherals. You can even use the trackpad to scroll up and down um, or the scrolly wheel whatever you want to call it but basically you want to go to language and input and then you can see Hey, it recognized my keyboard and has a couple of settings for it. And it also recognized my mouse as a mouse. And I'm going to increase the sensitivity. It's much, much, much better. Okay? So you can see mouse works. Also, the keyboard works. So let's zoom back in on the Nexus just so it's easier for you to focus on what's important which is the fact that 
it's working and to see the screen on how it's working. Okay, so we'll just, I just wanted to focus on this again just to show you that it is recognizing the keyboard. And you can actually set up the keyboard layout if you wanted. Um, you know, there's different languages. You can have Dvorak set up. So it, it's really quite an extensive way. And you can press escape on the keyboard to go back. That's what I'm doing right now, pressing escape, which is pretty cool. Um, the Windows button doesn't do anything but we, you know you can figure the buttons out if you want but I'm um, see you can use the mouse I'm using the keys right now to do and operate and use what a keyboard and mouse should do it's kinda cool all connected through USB so let's go over and write an email to my users press tab Hello everyone, this is a really simple way to show how to connect keyboard and mouse. So as you can see it's pretty simple, you can do all the backtracking if I wanted. I can highlight. You can't really, you have to still use what's there in the OS, so I can't really drag and click, at least not in this application. Maybe other applications allow for it, but it still does a, a good job. I can cut it, I can paste it, and um, here it is keyboard and mouse on the Nexus 7. This works for other devices as well that support OTG. It works for the Motorola Zoom, pretty much any of the Tegra devices out there that support OTG and many many others. So let me know what you think. Um, there is a question on the battery drain. This thing is you know powering the hub, it's powering the keyboard and powering the mouse. So if you have a power hungry keyboard and mouse, you know, you might be seeing not that many hours out of the Nexus 7, so that's a drawback. But, I am going to look into how, um, I'm getting a power source later this evening, and so I'll, I'm hoping that I can connect a power source to the hub, which will sh shorten the drain off the Nexus 7. But more on that later. I hope this was helpful. Please ask me any questions that you uh, want, and uh, have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much.